Welcome back, y'all. As you know, every single year we participate in NBC's Clear the Shelters initiative, and this year is no different. Well, it might look a little different. Joining us instead of in person, virtually, to share who all they have up for adoption is Lisa from APED SPCA in Wood County. Good morning, Lisa. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Hey, it's our pleasure. So what can you tell us about your organization? Well, APET is a not-for-profit, no-kill animal shelter. We're located outside of Mineola off of Highway 80. And we started in 2003 as a spay and neuter program. And then we uh, built a thrift store to support the building of a shelter, which we accomplished. And we have a new thrift store opening in Winsboro at the end of the month called Top Dog. So now we have two thrift stores that support our shelter, and we have the shelter. That's pretty neat and pretty unique. Also, I see you have a couple of friends right there just kind of taking a little cat nap. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about some of the other animals you have for adoption or about those right there? Well, let's start with them. We have 13 large dogs available for adoption right now. No small dogs, which is fortunate and also unfortunate. Uh, everybody wants the small dogs, so the big dogs get passed over. And uh, it's fortunate for us because we adopt out a lot of small dogs, but we need to get these guys adopted out. And we also have cats. We have uh, 15 cats currently. Not all of them are available, but a, a lot of them are available for adoption. We uh, partner with PetSense in Lindale, and they have a couple of our cats up for adoption for us as well. And we would like people to come out and let's clear this shelter this month. Amen to that. Now, not only the size at all of the dog, but you know, everybody always always wants a puppy. What can you say about, you know, some of the older dogs in your shelter that need a home? Well, the, we don't even take puppies here or kittens because we don't have the proper isolation facilities for them to keep them free from disease until they can be vaccinated. So everything we take here has to be you know, four months or older, but older dogs, especially elderly dogs, are a pleasure to have. They don't have to be trained usually. They just want a companion. They're easy to take care of. They're easy to walk. They're just, they're, everybody should consider an older dog as well as a puppy. I know puppies are great and kittens are great. They're cute, they're playful, but older dogs are wonderful as well. And these two, this is Sweetie and this is Junior, her brother. They're four years old. They're black mouth cur. They have been here at the shelter for over two years. And these are wonderful dogs. They're a bonded pair, brother and sister. We would like them to be adopted out together. It's not a necessity. What is a necessity is getting them into a good and loving home. But you can see they're just the sweetest things. They play with each other all day long. They pull each other's ears. And they're just easy to look at them. They're easy to take care of, mellow, great with kids. Wonderful, wonderful dogs, and we need to get them into a good and loving home. What angels right there. And I know y'all have come in the studio before and it is difficult to get some dogs to cooperate on camera. So you can tell right there, those are some good dogs that deserve loving forever homes. Two years in the shelter, that is just too long.